We have polar bear, we have black bear, we have grizzly bear, we have moose that are humongous. It's just different animals. Some are wild, like a cheetah. Always wanted to come to Kenya, Kenya and always wanted to do a safari. So it really was an amazing experience. First time here, not the last time here. Hello guys, welcome back to Lavina Reality Show. So uh, as we started before, uh, we are here to uh, look for these uh, people from the foreign countries. Let's hear what they have to say about uh, Kenya and uh, if it's fun or something, let's just hear from them. And I have one already. Hi. Hello. Yes. What's your name? Marcel. Marcel. Marcel, welcome to Lavina Reality Show. Thank you. So are you in Kenya for the first time or third time oh for the third time I, I came here two years ago I went to Masai Mara now it's my third time here Wow must be interesting very interesting very different but I love it uh, so which country do you come from Canada from Canada so what's new in Kenya that maybe it's not in Canada poverty on the street sadly oh. you don't see that in Canada the police come and take the mother and the child and the, the government provide them with um, accommodation and food. So there is none of that in Canada. Oh. So in Kenya, it's, it's... It's not very good. Let's be honest. There's some women sleeping on the cement with a baby. That's not good. Uh, wow. So, uh, so you said it's your third time in Kenya. So before you got to Kenya, where was the first place you wanted to go to? As a kid, I went to Mexico, to Paris, to United States. Then no. I decided Africa. I went to Morocco, Tanzania, and Kenya. So Kenya was your third place in Africa? Oh, your second, second place? Second place, yes. <laughs> First Morocco, then I came here. Very different from Morocco. So uh, if you came to Kenya, now you're in Nairobi. Now in Nairobi, is it your first place you wanted to come to? Or maybe you had some other option? The best place for me, yeah. one of the top five in the world, is Masai Mara. When I went there in two years ago, in 2019, unbelievable. Unbelievable, the animals, the safari, the cheetah, the lion, the elephant, nothing beats that. <laughs> Talking on uh, animals, uh, which animal maybe that is, uh, do you have different type of animals in, in, in Canada that maybe are not in Kenya? We have polar bear, we have black bear, we have grizzly bear, we have moose that are humongous. It's just different animals. Some are wild, like a cheetah, but um, Canada is the second largest country in the world. So we have lots of animals, just different. Lots of bear and mooses and beaver, different. So are you in Kenya for business or just vacation? Vacation. And then I met my friend and now we went for dinner with her beautiful two daughters and I'm happy. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So what can you say about Nairobi? Uh, Nairobi is interesting, but I prefer Masai Mara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you prefer Masai Mara? Yes, yes, and, for uh, the safari. Uh, yeah. So uh, with your friends, you said you, you have a friend who you met and uh, you're going for dinner. Is yeah. she or he a Kenyan? Yeah, she's a Kenyan. I'm not sure about the tribe. In Canada, we don't care about tribalism. Mm -hmm. She's just a nice lady. She has two beautiful daughters and that's why we went for dinner. Do you know in Kenya we have uh, uh, two type two language in in Kenya? So like, has she taught you other than English? We have Kiswahili. I know she speaks Swahili, but she probably speaks another native language like Maasai or Luya. But I don't know that. I forgot her tribe because for me it's not important. Not necessarily tribe, but we have like two national tribe uh, language. Eh? That is Swahili and English. Oh, okay, okay. Well, she speaks English very well. Otherwise, I cannot speak Swahili. She hasn't even taught you a single uh, thing in, in Swahili. Uh, what's, thank you again, Asante. Is it? Is it Asante? Yes. Yeah, I'm bad in English, in Swahili. So you only know Asante? Yeah, I f and Shosho. Oh. Your grandmother is Shosho. That I know that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, you're interesting, and thank you so much. Uh, it's been awesome having you in Lavina Reality Show. Thank you, Lavina. What can you say about... Uh, my show good show energy <laughs> i like it uh, i would watch if i c it's a online show yeah, on sure. the yeah that's good good show <laughs> thank you so much okay bye-bye bye. my name is kate kate 
Kate, welcome to our show. And uh, you're welcome to Kenya. I'm seeing you for the first time. <laughs> In indeed, yes, I've been here for the first time. It was lovely. I only came here eight days ago. Oh. So, uh, where do you come from? I came from London, from England. Uh, you come from England? Yes. Wow, I love that. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. It's so, pleasure. so you said you've been here for uh, the last a few days, eh? That's right, from last Sunday to this Sunday, eight days, very full on, very intense, fantastic time. <laughs> wow, I love that. So, uh, so you've been here and uh, what brought you here? Are you around for a business uh, trip or uh, for uh, a vacation? Definitely holiday. It's been a very long coming dream come true to come to safari. And I finally realized that this time I managed to come here and I've seen amazing sights in here. Wow. So is it your first time in uh, Nairobi or where was the first place you wanted to go to before you go to Kenya? I mean in Africa. I have been in North Africa. I haven't been anywhere past uh, the, f the first countries like uh, Egypt or Tunisia. Always wanted to come to Kenya, Kenya and always wanted to do a safari. So it really was an amazing experience. First time here, not the last time here. Wow, I love that. Seems you're enjoying so much, eh? Definitely. Honestly, I came here for my last day. I'm leaving today. And as I'm walking the street, just looking at everything, people are friendly. They engage me. I get pictures with, with kids. We even did a TikTok about half an hour ago, wow. which I'm going to check as well. It's fantastic in here. Wow. It's really friendly. Again, it's just such a good experience to be here. Awesome. So are you in... Uh, where have you been apart from uh, Nairobi? Have you gone to some other places, maybe in Nakuru? I have been to Masai Mara. We started there for three days. Then we went to Nakuru, uh, Naivasha, uh, Hell's Gate, and uh, Abasoli Park. Oh. And I think that was our last stop with beautiful lodge. And that was the last couple of days, which were amazingly fantastic as well. Relaxing in the pool. Uh, looking at monkeys jumping around and it was fantastic to look at a Kilimanjaro from you know swimming in the pool I can't explain how amazing I feel honestly to be here Aww. such a shame to be leaving today <laughs> <laughs> so what time are you leaving today at midnight oh. so I'm still have I still have a few hours before we go driver will take me to the airport and goodbye Kenya <laughs> <laughs> so about that uh, would you like maybe to be back to Kenya someday or uh, maybe it's your final day, you didn't like it. Oh, no, 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 definitely will come back. Mm -hmm. I would like to explore more, um, spend more time getting to know people. The animals are fantastic, but it is very full on. It's 10 to 12 hours driving all the time, looking at, at different sites. You don't really have time to get to know people enough. A few hours in Nairobi and showed me completely different world. And now I have to go, so I didn't even have time really to get to know people. I will come back. I would like to go to uh, Mombasa and different cities as well, but I will be back. <laughs> wow, so you've been around. Have you made friends with maybe Kenyans? Or I have made friends, as I said, just uh, half an hour ago. A um, couple of young adults asked me to, to take pictures and TikTok with them, which is going to be interesting to look at it later on. And um, I've been to the local market as well, where I exchange numbers with people. Also, you know, as you actually go through different safari places, yeah. you meet so many people, not just travelers, but people from Kenya. Yeah. So you get to know people, you talk to them, you understand a bit of a, more of a culture other than just what you read on, on the internet or in the books. It's been a real pleasure, honestly. So have they taught you a little bit of Swahili or? Only basics. And you know what? They taught me, and I'm really sorry, but it's so easy to forget. Um, it's the usual thing, you know, jumbo and mambo, and uh, uh, obviously now that you put me on the spot, I don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, but it is caribou, obviously everyone says that, so it's fantastic. Um, it just kind of goes from day to day. We tried, it is more of a conversation. I think English is very well spoken in here, so we spoke in English a lot. Um, but yeah, it was more of getting to know the culture and the traditions and people in here and understanding the differences in different parts of the, the country. It's been eight days. It's not enough. You know, I need more time. <laughs> I love that. So before you go to Kenya, maybe you in England, you've had maybe some rumors about Kenya. So when you got here today or maybe last week, 
uh, is there any rumor that you got that maybe you found it otherwise? No, I think I know what you're trying to, to say, that if there was something that maybe I was expecting and that didn't yeah, happen. Yeah. No, I think everything that what, what we've known or what we heard, it kind of shows in here, you know, nothing surprised me, nothing really shocked me. There were parts, obviously, of, of the country that were just very different to what I'm used to, what I'm accustomed to. Um, but I, there was nothing where I thought, hmm... That, that wasn't like that. That's supposed to be something different. I think there were a couple of maybe times where I was expecting a little bit more color and, and vibrancy and <laughs> happiness. And it was a little bit more subdued and quiet. But that's also, you know, given it's really hot, people are not going to be jumping around because it's so hot. It's I, let's just calm down. <laughs> no, it, it, it was really exactly as I thought it would be, but better. <laughs> so it was yeah. fantastic. So about the weather? Oh, the weather. Uh -huh. I, uh, finally, I could see the sun. I don't get to see sun in England. Oh, there's no sun in England. <laughs> there is very rarely. We have summers, obviously, but they last about five days. <laughs> so, so right now you guys are experiencing winter? We have rains. Most of the time it's kind of like an autumn weather. It's rainy, it's windy, it's gloomy. Winter comes a little bit later, maybe November, yeah. and it will last until end of March. And then it's slightly less cold and... Yeah, it's a it's a gloomy country when it comes to the weather. <laughs> Happy at heart, yeah. but the weather is not great there. Uh -huh. So I really was like, you know, taking all the energy, like a solar power, get me the sun, please, so I can take you with me. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, uh, you're all alone. Aren't you afraid? No, not at all. Uh -huh. I'm not afraid. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm, I'm assuming I'm in the center of Nairobi. I'm yeah, sure. Perfectly um, safe and secure walking around. I, as you can see, I am on my own. I came on my own. Yeah. At no point did I feel scared or worried. Obviously, I don't go out in the middle of the night on my own looking for trouble. Yeah. But at the same time, I do feel quite safe and secure walking around on my own and, and talking to people, engaging with people who could be absolutely anyone. But the energy is good. You feel the good energy, so you, you feel secure. I love that. I love that. Uh, the fact that maybe you, you're liking it around because... People in Kenya are welcoming, right? They are welcoming. They're friendly and, as I said, engaging as well. The, you know, the little kids, they're a bit giggly and they don't know what to say. So the parents would encourage them and the, you know, all the people as well would come and t talk to me and chat about anything. So, <laughs> yeah, I welcome that. That was great. That was a good experience. Thank you so much, Kate. So what can you say, what can you tell about uh, to my fans in uh, my YouTube channel? Guys, uh, I really want to tell you, thank you for being this welcoming. Thank you for being such a wonderful, wonderful country. And I'm not just saying that because I'm standing here in front of a microphone and I feel under pressure. I do really feel that I enjoyed my time. It was intense. It was full of different adventures, but it really fulfilled me. And I feel really happy to be here. And I hope to see you all in London one day <laughs> and in England. Experience our rain, see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kate, for uh, being with us in our show today.